Hello internet friends, my name is Kai and today we're going to review the music from an artist from Finland. Uh, he's a guitarist, composer, uh, started working in music early in the late 80s. Uh, during a career of almost 40 years, this artist is uh, Mika Kivinen. Uh, the genre has changed along with the bands from fusion to group to heavy and progressive metal. Um, yeah, this uh, just this just released a five song length fusion rock theme EP was that was composed and produced by him on on his own studio. So yeah, um, we are going to review this fusion rock artist and this song is called Remember. And yeah, without much further ado, I'm gonna grab my trusty headphones and let's give it a listen.
this was a really nice song. It has all the 80s vibes, especially with the big the reverb drums, the guitars, and uh, lots of reverb, but that amazing reverb that makes feel everything epic and uh, amazing. I really enjoyed the track, the vocals, um, everything is like really well done. I really enjoyed the intro, the intro is really calming and soothing and then it explodes on this amazing song. At the end, I wasn't expecting that change of everything, I will say, at the middle of the song. Um, I was expecting it to be more like uh, how it was going, um, repeat I, the structure or something and it totally changed and it blew my mind and I absolutely love that change on the song. The vocals are really nice, um, drums are really nice, everything sounds pretty well actually so I don't have any complaints technically so uh, that's pretty cool. I really love the 80 sound and um, if that was the intention it totally got it because it has all the elements of the river, the big guitars and amazing solos and has everything and the vocals are pretty nice and um, I think the the effects or how they were um, managed to the song were pretty great I mean it's like uh, nice amounts of river everything sounds uh, really nice in tune nothing sounds out of place so I really enjoyed this song remember so yeah, um, Mika Kivinen uh, is doing a great work. Uh, this was all recorded on his own studio, and that's pretty great. Keeping it uh, control over everything on homemade. The mastering of the album was done by the top class artist uh, Akli Kenny from Tesseract, man, uh, owner of for the Sound Studio. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, the song being played now is not a love song. The song is. Uh, a composed narrative about reality which tells about a relationship in which one of the characters certainly gets a serious deal drifting in his world and tries to find memories in his mind which are no longer whole. This is cool because it uh, also adds a lot of context to the song. Um, yeah, it's a really nice song. Uh, what, I'm, what I listened was pretty great. And yeah, like I mentioned, I don't have any complaints. My reviews get longer when I start to complain or something, but I don't find any flaws here. It was pretty enjoyable, it has all the 80s vibe, and I absolutely love that. So yeah, uh, that's all for today, I guess. No complaints, an amazing song, and keep doing a great work. Uh, uh, Mika, amazing, thank you for sending me this. I absolutely enjoyed this one, and see you in another one. Bye!